heard the rationale for, and you've practiced the mechanics of direct instruction techniques for the separate exercises you'll be teaching during the first days of the school year. Now, I'll discuss how you put it all together, how you integrate the techniques you've already practiced with some additional non-scripted procedures. These procedures will help you to interact with even the normally hard-to-teach students to motivate them to attend and learn while you maintain a positive classroom atmosphere. As you know, unless you can obtain and hold the attention of your students, no instructional material can possibly work. But if you use DI programs as your academic foundation and implement these management procedures, you'll find that your children will look forward to group, be persistent in both group and independent seat work, and achieve well academically. To me, that's the really creative part of teaching, providing a positive proactive structure and making every one of those moment-to-moment -moment decisions about how best to interact with students, to work toward the goal of achieving high self-esteem and exemplary academic outcomes for children. During the first days of school, you will concentrate on teaching the children the behaviors you expect. You do this by first telling children specifically what you expect, modeling the expectations, and then providing immediate feedback by praising children who are doing what you want them to do. Now, this specific praise also functions as corrective feedback to children who are not doing what you want. So, while you ignore off-task or inattentive behavior, children who are doing what you want get major attention. Remember this, make sure that children get specific praise for following specifically stated expectations. For small group instruction, you need to use only a few simple, positively stated rules or expectations that children can easily remember. Boys and girls, today we're really, really going to have some fun. We're going to do our reading lesson today, all righty? Okay, here is how we're going to have a lot of fun and how you're going to learn. I have some rules that I want everybody to listen to, listen really big. I want your feet on the floor, if you can reach the floor. Good job, okay? And hands in your lap. Good. And you're going to look at the book, the board, or the teacher, okay? You ready to work hard? And that's how you're going to get smart. We're going on to the next page. This is going to be so tricky. I don't know if anybody can do it because they have to watch the tricky finger. Okay, I'm going to cross out. If you can say these sounds, I'm going to cross them out with my tricky invisible marker right here, okay? After you have quickly stated the expectations to the group, immediately give some specific praise on those expectations. Look at me or the book. Wow, look at all those guys. They really know the rules. Your feet are on the floor. Your hands are in, on your lap. Now I have to have everybody looking up here. Good looking. All right. When you use praise this way, it is instructive to students because they hear about behaviors you value, then see other children receiving positive attention for them. Once the children learn exactly what the rules mean, they are usually motivated to try to get your attention by displaying the desired behaviors. Now, I want you to look at my paper here. Boy, you're doing a good job of sitting quietly without making any noise, Blake. That's great, with your feet on the floor. Let me see who's sitting really good because that's the person who's going to get their paper first. Blake is sitting, wow, it's hard for me to tell who's going to get the paper. Blake's sitting right, Fatu is sitting so nice, and look at this. Wow, that was too loud for my little ears. Let's see if we can do that in an indoor voice. Everybody say as long as I touch it, but in a quiet indoor voice. Are you ready? I can tell you're ready, and you're ready, Fatu, because you're watching the book. All right. Let's see. You mean is ready. Brian is ready. Get ready, everybody. That was a wonderful indoor voice. Casey's turn. If instead of specific praise, you use the same non-specific words over and over, like good, 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 
students will soon hear it as just so much noise. On the other hand, using specific praise is an amazingly powerful technique. It can seem as though you're pushing a magic button and the students do what you want. But of course it's not magic, it's just good management. Once you've introduced your behavioral expectations and have provided some immediate feedback to students, you should move rapidly into the lesson. For the first few days of instruction, you will continue during the lesson to provide feedback on the social or attending behaviors that you have stated as your expectations. But also, and as soon as possible, you should start concentrating more of your specific praise on academic performance. Okay. Let's see if you can do it again this time. Say it as long as I touch it. His turn again. Get ready. Whoa, that was wonderful saying, as long as I touched it. The reason for switching most of your specific praise to academic performance is that children need to understand that they're in the group to learn to read, not just to behave nicely. The strength of the praise and attention you give to the children depends on the children you're working with. If you're working with children who've had lots of instructional contact with adults, a uh, simple smile and praise will probably be adequate. If you're working with instructionally naive or very young children who have not had lots of positive instructional interactions with adults before, at first you will probably have to be much more animated in your praise. Get ready. Mm. Woo! That's right, give me five. Okay, we're going to play Say It Fast again. Listen, ice box. Say it fast. Ice box. Oh, you guys are too good on that. To train children to be attentive, your pacing must be rapid. During instruction and during transitions from task to task, exercise to exercise. Children cannot be allowed to get attention and interrupt with off-task behavior or otherwise control the pace. Oh, and everybody's watching and listening when it's his turn on the feet or on the floor. Yay! Okay. Alero's turn. Listen. Listen while it's his turn. Okay? Oh, I know you have a hurt, but let's watch him. He's really good at doing this. Eyes. Cream. Say it fast. Oh, ho, ho. he said a word we didn't even say before. As much as possible, you ignore off-task or inattentive behavior, but instead praise students who are following your specifically stated expectation and keep your pacing rapid. You do a task, provide immediate feedback, praise are correct. Then repeat the task and challenge the students. When children have had an extended period of intensive practice, they may become restless. You can get them motivated again by providing a short break, a change-up activity. And here's the secret step. Once the students are following your instructions, you must use rapid pacing to chain the last step of the change-up to the first step of the academic task you want your students to perform. And then continue with brisk pacing. Everybody put your paper down on, underneath your chair. Everybody put your paper down underneath your chair. Underneath your chair. I didn't trick you. You're really good at listening. Under your chair. Very quickly. Good. Everybody stand up. Everybody stand up. Good. Everybody put your hands in the air. Everybody put your hands down. Everybody put your hands on your waist. Everybody put your hands on your shoulder. Hands on your head. Hands on your shoulder. Everybody put your hands on your lap. Everybody sit down. Everybody pick up your paper very quickly and put your finger on the ball of the arrow. Oh, she's so fast. She's so fast. She has it. Okay, everybody, you're going to get ready to say that sound. Get ready. Good. Stop. Stop saying it. Good job. Put your finger back on the ball of the arrow. Everybody's quiet. Boy, that's good. We're going to say it one more time in a quiet voice. Here we go. You've got to be touching it, and I've got to be able to see it. Get ready. Oh, that was perfect. Quiet. Another important component of management is handling the transitions when students go to and from groups. 
You will save a good deal of time during the school year and make management easier by spending several periods during the first days of school teaching children how to make these transitions. So for instance, you'd have names for the groups and you'd say something like, red group, stand up. Oops, too slow. Let's see how the blue group does. Blue group, stand up. Ooh, good standing up quickly and quietly. Blue group, see if you can walk quickly and quietly up to the group. All right, and then you assign chairs to the students so they know where exactly to sit. Okay, everybody, put your paper down on the floor. Very quietly. Whoa, Blake did it without talking. Good job. So did Casey. Fatu, Brian's sitting upright already. Good job. Ooh, Fatu has her hands in her lap. Okay, here we go. Now, you're going to finish that take-home all by yourselves back at your seats, and let's go over the things you're going to do. You're going to finish writing the as. If you didn't write all the as, you're going to finish. What sound is that that you're going to write, everybody? Ah. That's right. You're going to finish the writing the a, and after you write the a, you get to do what? Color the paper. That's right. Everybody, have your paper now in your lap. In your lap. We're going to go back to your seats to finish the paper. Let me see who's ready to go back to their seats. I can tell you're back to the seats because your hands are full. Wow, I really can see the way Alirio is sitting the right way. Oh, look at Lenny. Okay, Alirio, stand up with your paper very quietly. Walk back to your seats in the back. Good job, Brian. You can walk back. Good job today, Lenny. All right. Good job. You may walk back. You mean Casey, Fatu, and Blake. Okay, over there to the table. Good job. You should also spend time teaching children how to work independently at their desks. Then every day you have to clearly explain the work, behavioral and academic expectations before the children can be held accountable. Students who are doing seat work must be taught not to interrupt while you're doing a group. In addition to the take-home worksheets, for every lesson you need to provide enough work to keep children busy for at least 30 minutes while you are working with the other instructional groups. Seat work that is coordinated with the program is available from SRA, the publisher, in the form of Black Line Masters, and other seat work is available from various sources. You must be prepared to look away from the script and interact immediately with students when you teach a DI lesson. If you watch this whole tape series up to this point and have participated in all the practice sessions, you've already had many hours in presentation preparation so that you can teach your first lesson of Reading Mastery 1 or Fast Cycle 1. Now here are some steps to follow when you are preparing on your own to teach any exercise from any lesson in a direct instruction program. First, study the script to understand the exercise. Is a pattern established and repeated? Is a model, lead, or test included? Are individual turns specified? Are steps repeated? The next step is to practice the wording, emphasizing keywords and pausing appropriately. Then you determine the signals you're going to use coordinate the wording and signals. Keep practicing until your pacing is rapid and finally practice doing the whole exercise using corrections and reinforcement. Now here's your opportunity to practice so that you will feel confident teaching and managing student behavior for the whole DI lesson. If you're teaching Reading Mastery 1, Practice any lesson from 1 through 15. If you're teaching Fast Cycle, use lesson 1 or 2. Practice with a group of 3 or 4 people using all the teaching and management techniques you've been learning. When you're the teacher, use your teacher presentation book A. People who are acting as students should present 
one or two behavioral problems for the teacher or make one or two academic errors per exercise. When you're done practicing, watch the tape again. I have a few more things to say. For your last activity on this tape, I'm going to refer one more time to your teacher's guide. Open to page 8. You need to become familiar with in-program mastery testing that begins on Lesson 8 of Reading Mastery 1 and Lesson 7 of Fast Cycle. I hope that by now you're feeling comfortable so that you can teach the first lessons of Level 1 to a group of children. Now, you're going to look at this sound, everybody. What sound is it? Mm. Oh, I tricked some people. Their eyes weren't out here, but Casey was really watching. Everybody, what sound is this? Mm. Yeah, the mmm is crossed Bye. out. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We're going to cross out every mmm on your take home. All what right? About the the mmm is crossed out, so you have to cross out every mmm on this part of your take what home. About the ass? Are you going to cross this out? No. Why no. not? It's Thank not an mm. Ah. It's not a mmm, is it? Are you going to cross this out? Yes. Why are you going to cross it out? Because it's mmm. Mm. Okay, pick up your take homes and let's see you cross out everything that's in mmm. What about uh, um, the ass? Nope. All we're what are we crossing out, boys and girls? Mmm. Mm. Just the mmms. What are we doing with the ums? We're crossing them out. Except this one. That one's already crossed out, but everything that's mmm, we're going to cross out. Okay? I'll make the M with a sandwich. Okay. So, done already. Yeah. I'm done. Okay. Now, there's a picture that you can color on here also. Right here. You, yes. you can scribble the Listen, A. Sir, why don't you cross out every M mm first, and then you you're going to follow the dotted line around and see what that picture makes. You start at the big ball, I just like we always is. know, don't we? I know it Put is. your pencil on the big ball I know it is. after we've crossed out all the mm. I'm done. Okay, are you done? Great. Okay, now everybody, here's a picture that you can color, but first you have to finish the picture. Everybody find the big ball on that picture. I did. Good. Okay, touch it with your finger. I Let me see. Ooh, I see two fingers, three fingers, four. Everybody's touching that big ball. Good job. All right. Now, follow that dotted line all the way around. I think I'll do it too. I'm going to follow that dotted line all the way around. I'm already done. Oh, I'm good for you. Done. You guys are too smart. When you're all done, put your yeah. pencil down flat. Flat. What did you get when you followed those dotted lines, everybody? What is a that? vacuum cleaner. Yes, it's a vacuum cleaner. Okay. Everybody, you're going to finish this take-home on your own, so listen up. You're going to finish writing those mmms on the other side. And after you finish writing, mm, you can color that picture, okay? And also this one. Yeah, you can color that one, I don't too. Like my name. Good working, boys and girls. Can we take this home with us? Yeah, sure can. But what about the boards? Well, we'll think about that. Now, the word you will say tells what you're going to see on your take-home paper. Listen, say. No, listen, we're going to say this fast. Listen. Running. Say it fast. Running. That's right. Running. Get ready to do it again. Listen. Running. Say it fast. Running. All right. The picture on your take home will show someone who is running. running. That's right. Again, what are they doing? Running. Yes, running. Okay. Casey's turn. Listen. Running. Say it fast. Running.
fighting. All right, she's fast. You mean, Stern, listen. Running. Set fast. Running. All right. And Blake and Shay gets turns on something else when we do it. Now, look at my take home. When I move under the sound, you say it. Keep on saying it as long as I move under it, or I'm touching under it. Get ready. Mm -hmm. Again, get ready. Mm -hmm. Again, get ready. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have to do it in the right kind of voice. I'm going to do it. I'm so smart. I know how to do it right. My turn. Mm -hmm. That's a big kid's voice. Everybody, get ready. Mm -hmm. That's nice saying it. Again, get ready. Mm. All by yourself. Your turn. Get ready. Mm. Oh, I only heard two people. I have to hear everybody. Get ready. Mm. Again, get ready. Mm. Yes. Mm. Okay. What Now when I move under a sound, you say it. Keep on saying it as long as I touch under it. Let's see how smart you are. He's not getting tricked. He's watching my tricky finger. He's not saying it till I touch it. Okay, everybody, get ready. Mm. Good saying it when I touch it. All right, now it's time for your take home. Let me see. Blake is sitting beautifully. She gets her take home. Let's see, you mean it. Oh, everybody's sitting so nicely. As soon as you get your take home, put your finger on the big ball of the mmm. Oh, she did it. You mean did it. Oh, they're too smart for me today. Let's see, where's your fingers going to be? Right on the big ball. Ooh, beautiful, touching that big ball. All right, when I move under, <clears throat> everybody's fingers on the first ball of the arrow. When I clap, quickly move your finger under the sound and say it. You're going to say, mmm. Get ready. Mm. Ooh, good say, mmm. Again, finger on the first ball of the arrow. Get ready. Good. Finger back on the first ball of the arrow. Wow, you guys are smart. You have your fingers there. Get ready. Whoa, that was wonderful. One more time. Let me see all those fingers. Fingers back on the big ball. Get ready. Ooh, good saying. Good touching under it. Very good. Put your finger on the big ball. Good. Look at your own paper. You means turn. Finger on the first ball. When I clap, you mean. Quickly move your finger under the sound and say it. Get ready. Mm. It's you means turn all by himself. Then you'll get a turn later. Everybody put your finger back on the big ball. It's you means turn to say that sound. Get ready. Mm. Good saying. Mm, you mean. Okay, let's see. Casey's finger is on the big ball. Your turn, Casey. Get whoops. Wait till I clap and say get ready. Keep looking at your own paper. Get ready. Good saying. Mm, good moving your finger. Blake's turn to be a star. All right, here we go, Blake. Get ready. Good saying. Mm, great. Stop saying it. Okay, Shay's turn. Only your finger, only one finger there touching. Okay, on the big ball. Get ready. Good saying. Mmm, everybody. Okay, you're going to write mmm on your take home. Touch. This mmm on your take home. See this one right here? Touch it. Very good. Touching. All right. Put your finger now on the big ball of this mmm. Oh, good touching. Everybody has the big ball. Great. Now follow the dotted line with your finger. Everybody follow the dotted line. Good job. Right down from the big ball. Good. Now. Put your finger on the little ball. Ooh, she has it. Good. Good, good, good. Everybody has it. Now follow the dotted line around. Follow the dotted line. I'm done. Good, good. Okay. Everybody, now you're going to get your pencils and put your pencil on the big ball. Let's see who can really do it. Who's listening? Okay. You mean is listening. Put, just put your pencil on the big ball. You get one. You get one. The big ball is exactly right. Follow the dotted line all the way now. With your pencil. Good writing. Ooh, good following. Now put it on the little ball and follow that dotted line around. Great. I'm done. Great. Now, as soon as you're done, 
put your pencil on the big ball of this mmm and follow the dotted line around and make that mmm. Good. Yes. This one right here. I'm across the room. I'm done. All right. Good for you. Do another mmm. Start at the big ball and follow the dotted line. I did. You did. You already did another one. Do this one. Good I job. Okay, everybody stop writing the mm's. Right now, we'll finish them off later. What we're going to do next, we're going to say some sounds. And if you can say all of these sounds, we're going to cross them out and say goodbye to them. But first, you're going to tell me all the sounds on this page without making a mistake. And then I'm going to cross them out. Get ready. Ah. Yes, ah. Get ready. Good saying, mm, I can really hear you. Get ready. Ah. Ah is right. Get ready. Mm. Mm, perfect. Wow, are you guys good at saying those why, sounds? Why is um, half of the M is covered up? Well, I just made a mistake because it shouldn't be covered up. Should you, be, you should be able to see it. Now, you told me all of these sounds, so you're going to tell me the sounds again, and this time I'll cross them out when you tell me what it is. Get ready. Ah. Ah. So now we get to say goodbye. Ah. Good. Get ready. Mm. And now we get to say goodbye. Mm. Yeah. Get ready. Ah. Yes. Ah. Now we say goodbye. Ah. Ah. Get ready. Ah. Mm. Yeah. What is that one? Mm. One more time. Get ready. Mm. And now we're going to say goodbye. Mm. That's exactly right. Shay's turn. Get ready. Ah. And you get to say goodbye. Ah. That's exactly right. You mean's turn. Get ready. Mm. And you get to say goodbye. Mm. That's right. Blake's turn. Get ready. Ah. And you say goodbye. Ah. Good. Shay's turn. Get ready. Mm. And you say goodbye. Mm. Good. Casey's turn. Get ready. Uh, and you say goodbye. Uh. Oh, you did so nicely. Okay. Now you're going to say some words slowly Ooh. without stopping between the sounds. Listen. Say it. Get ready. It. Good. Again. Get ready. It. Perfect. Now listen. Say fun. Get ready. Fun. Oh, I still have, watch me. I am so tricky. Here's how I did it when I was a little girl. Fun. We're saying those words slowly without stopping. Everybody do it with me. Fun. Again with me. Get ready. Fun. Good saying those sounds without stopping one more time. Nice teacher. Fun. Fun. By yourself without stopping. Fun. Perfect. All by yourself. One more time. Listen. Say. Fun. Get ready. Fun. Again. Get ready. Fun. You guys are so smart. Give yourself a tap on the back, a pat on the back. We're going to do all of those perfectly this time. Everybody sitting up the right way with your hands in your lap now. Okay, good sitting there, Shay. Good, ready to be smart. Okay, listen. Say it. Get ready. It. Again, get ready. It. Beautiful saying it and watching my hand. Listen. Say Fun. Get ready. Fun. Fun. Again, get ready. Fun. One more time. Get ready. Fun. Very good saying fun. Listen. Say see. Get ready. See. Again, get ready. See. Good. Saying those sounds slowly. Now, here's one more. Listen. Say nice. Get ready. Nice. Again, get ready. Nice. Beautiful saying words slowly. 
Okay, let's see. Casey's turn to say, nice. Get ready. Nice. Perfect. Okay, let's have Shay say, see. Get ready. See. That was really good. Funny handshake. Oh, he does it with that hand. Very good. It's Blake's turn to say, it. Get ready. It. Perfect saying it. Oh, that was a good handshake. You means turn. Say, see. Get ready. See. Oh, good job. I'll give you a hint. There oh. you go. Okay. Guess what we're going to do now? Now you're going to say a sound slowly. Then you get to say it fast. Okay. And then what? And then we're going to have some more fun do something else. First you're going to say it slowly, then you're going to say it fast. Listen. Say, Get ready. Again, get ready. Say it fast. That's right. Listen. Say. Get ready. Again, get ready. Say it fast. All right. Listen. Say. Get ready. Again, get ready. Say it fast. <coughs> All right, good job. All right, you means turn. Listen, say, mm, get ready. Mm. Again, get ready. Mm. Say it fast. Mm. Oh, he is good at doing that. Shay's turn. Say, Rrr. get ready. Rrr. Again, get ready. Rrr. Say it fast. Rrr. Oh, good job. Blake's turn. Listen, say, mm. Get ready. Mm. Again, get ready. Mm. Say it fast. Mm. All right, good job. Casey's turn. Oh. Say, S -s -s. get ready. S -s. Again, get ready. S -s. Say it fast. S -s. All right, good, everybody. Give yourself a big clap. Okay. Woo, first you're going to say a word slowly without stopping between the sounds. Then you're going to say the word fast. Listen, say, we get ready. We. Oh, you gotta say it slowly like this. Watch me, my turn. We. Your turn to say the sounds in. We get ready. We. Good again. Get ready. We. One more time. Get ready. Say it fast. We. Woo! Yeah, let's do that one one more time. Okay. Wow, I love the way your feet are on the floor, your hands are in your lap. You're such a hard worker, ready to go on this hard one again. Here we go. Say, we get ready. Again, get ready. I gotta hear everybody. Boy, Blake's really answering. Shay's really answering. And watching my tricky fingers. Say, we get ready. Again, get ready. One more time. Get ready. Say it fast. We. All right. I'm gonna do it one more time. Ah, one more time. Everybody. I gotta have everybody's eyes up here, just like Blake's are, with their feet on the floor, hands in their lap. Woo! Shay is ready to go. I gotta have everybody's eyes up here on my tricky hand, because I might trick you this time. Here comes the hard one one more time. Listen, say, we get ready. Good watch and good saying. Again, get ready. One more time, get ready. Say it fast. We. Woo! I heard everybody do it the right way. Give yourself a clap. That was good. Can I something, Philip? No, right now we have to work hard. We have to do another one of these words slowly. Here we go. Listen. Say, no. Get ready. Oh, you got to wait for me. I'm tricking you. Boy, he's sitting there. He's not answering until my tricky fingers come up. Let's do it again. Listen. Say, Mm, no. Get ready. Mm, no. Again, get ready. Mm, 
No. One more time. Get ready. No. Say it fast. No. no. All right. Here's the next one. Listen. Here's a toughie. Say, mm man. Get ready. Mm man. Again. Get ready. Mm man. Say it fast. Man. Woo! That was so good. Everybody, watch my tricky fingers. They didn't get tricked. We're going to do them all the right way now. Ooh, I'm going to have everybody's eyes up here just like yours are. Like yours are and our hands are going to be in our lap. We're ready to work really hard on all of these words now. Saying them slowly, then saying them fast. Here, here we go. Say, ooh we Get ready. ooh we Again, get ready. ooh we one more time. Get ready. We. Say it fast. We. Yes, we. Listen. Say no. Get ready. No. No. Again, slowly. Get ready. No. One more time, slowly. Get ready. No. Say it fast. No. All no. right. No. Next one. Listen. Say man. Get ready. Man. Again, get ready. Man. Say it fast. Man. Man. Woo, all right, that's a way to do it. All right, it's going to be Blake's turn first. Everybody watching the tricky hand. Blake's turn to say, man. Get ready. Man. Again, get ready. Man. Say it fast. Man! Woo! That was so good. Give me a tricky handshake. All right, that was give me five. All right, Casey's turn. Your turn to say no. Get ready. No. Again, get ready. No. Say it fast. No. Oh, that was so good. All right, she gave me five. Shay's turn. Listen. Say ooh we get ready ooh we again get ready ooh we say it fast we all right that's it okay you means turn say man get ready man again get ready Say it fast. Man. Oh, that was so good. Everybody, yeah, yeah give me five, give me a handshake. Uh -oh. Everybody, give yourself a clap. Very good. Now, if you say this word fast, I'm going to show you a picture. Listen. Jumping. Say it fast. Jumping. Yes. What's the word? Jumping. Yes. What's the picture going to show? Jumping. Yes, jumping. You will see a picture. And in that picture, the dog is jumping. Say it fast. Jumping. And here's the picture. How many people have a dog? This one. You have one? Yeah. I don't have a dog. You don't? I don't know. No, either. in my neighborhood, I have we saw some cats. I you have some cats? I have two. Yeah, that's yeah. fun, too. I have, I have, I have two cats. All right. I have, I have two key cats. You do? And I have one nice. kitty cat. Now you're going to see me teach Lesson 12 of Reading Mastery 1, which is the same as Lesson 1 of Fast Cycle. In addition to all the presentation and firming techniques, look for all the non-scripted management procedures and details of logistics that I use with this group of preschoolers to get and keep them motivated and to work and learn during this half hour reading lesson. I love the way Casey has her hands in her lap and the feet on the floor. Ooh, everybody else too. Everybody look up here. You're going to say some sounds. When I hold up my finger, say Z. Get ready. Good job. Next sound, say I. Get ready. I. Perfect. Next sound, say Mmm. Get ready. Mmm. Good saying mmm and good saying those sounds. It's you means turn. Say I. Get ready. 
Eh. Good saying eh. All right, it's Shay's turn. Say mmm. Get ready. Mmm. Woo, good saying mmm. Blake's turn. Say eh. Get ready. Eh. Good saying eh. Casey's turn. Say mmm. Get ready. Mm. Woo, let's all give ourselves a clap. Good saying those sounds. All right, now when I move under a sound, I'll say it. My turn. Get ready. Mmm. Your turn. Get ready. Mmm. Yes, mmm. Again, get ready. Mmm. Woo, great. One more time. Get ready. Mm. Keep on saying it as long as I touch it. Mm. Good. All right, see if you get tricked or not. Here we go. Get ready. Mm. Perfect saying it. Casey's turn. Get ready. Mm. Good saying it as long as I touch it. You mean, get ready. Mm. All right, good saying mm, as long as I touch it. Shay's turn. Get ready. Mm. Oh, he said it. And Blake's turn. Here we go. Get ready. Mm. Woo! Did she say it a long time, too? That's right. That's mm. Now watch. My turn to do with it what this picture shows me to do. I'm going to do it. <laughs> okay, now it's going to be your turn to do what the picture shows. Get ready. Oh, good doing what the picture shows. Again, get ready. All right, now we're going to do something else. We're going to do a new game. The pictures on this arrow show you what to do. My turn. Watch. Watch. Okay, it's going to be your turn to do what the picture show. Get ready. Get ready. Okay, let's try that one more time. You got to do this when I touch it. Everybody do this. Get ready. Yeah, don't get tricked. Let's try it again. Get ready. This is what it shows you to do. Everybody do this. Okay, hands down in your lap. Hands in your lap. This is what it shows you to do. First, everybody, look at the picture. Get ready. Good. Hands down. Here's what it shows you to do. Next, your turn. Get ready. Good job. Okay, let's start all over. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. Get ready. Whoops, tricked you. What are you supposed to be doing, touching? Hands down. Good. Let's do it again. Get ready. Good. Get ready. All right. Good watching the pictures. One more time. Hands down. Hands down. Hands down. Okay. Get ready. Get ready. All right. Hands down. Good try. All right. Shay's turn to do what the pictures show. Get ready. Get ready. Whoa. He really did it. Give me five. All righty, Blake's turn. Get ready. Get ready. Woo! She did it too. All right, somebody else gets a, a turn on another thing to do. Here's a new sound. My turn to say it. When I move under the sound, I'll say it. I'll keep on saying it as long as I touch under it. My turn. Get ready. Ah. My turn again. Get ready. Uh, I'm so good at saying that sound as long as I touch it. All right, your turn. When I move under the sound, you say it. Keep on saying it as long as I touch under it. Get ready. Uh, Pretty good. Let's try it again. You have to say it as soon as I touch it, like this. My turn again. Uh, your turn. Get ready. Uh, Keep on saying it. Uh, Good job. Let's try it again. Don't get tricked by this tricky finger. Get ready. Ah! Woo! You really said it a long time. Let's see if you can do it one more time. Here we go. Get ready. Ah! Whoa! Are you good at saying it? You means turn. Get ready. Ah! Again. Get ready. Ah! All right, good saying it when I touch it and as long as I touch it. Shay's turn, get ready. Ah! Woo! He stopped when I stopped. Blake's turn, get ready. Ah! She said it too. Give me a funny handshake. 
<laughs> That's right. Okay, Casey's turn. Get ready. Uh, Good saying, uh, Casey. You want to know a fun handshake? There you go. Okay. Good saying, uh, everybody.